Hello everyone, my name is Jatin Nagi and today we are going to discuss about prosomelids processing products and byproducts. Please watch this video till end and if you like it then please like and share this video and subscribe our channel for latest updates. So let's get started. Firstly I would like to tell you that this is how prosomelids looks like. Let's move further to prosomelids introduction. So its scientific name is Panicum Malaysium. It's a grain crop with many common names including prosomillet, millet, broom corn millet, common millet, hog millet, kashi millet, red millet and white millet. It is also known as china in Hindi. So this is how prosomillet is grown. Now let's move forward to need for processing. So prosomillets have a hard cellulosic husk layer that humans cannot digest and therefore processing these for human consumption is essentially a matter of cleaning and grading the grains. So this is how processed prosomillets looks like. So let's move further to prosomelids processing. These are the main steps which are included. So firstly we have the prosomelids which are which we obtain after harvesting. Then these are destoned using a destoner. Then these are cleaned using aspirator. Then these are graded according to their size, color. Then dehulling that is removal of husk layer. It is done by using a dehuller. Then polishing that is removal of bran. Here we get the main product that is grain. After that we have uh, three main operations that is milling, fermentation and flaking. So this is how the prosomelids uh, look like before processing and after processing. You can refer to this image. This is the color variation also and size variation also. So let's move there to a small video which is showing dehulling operation using a dehuller. So this is a yellow foxtail millet and now this guy is uh, inserting no, these no uh, foxtail millet in this hopper and these are further broken down and dehulled in small uh, millet. So basically uh, this huller can do this operation with any of the millets whether it's a foxtail millet, prosa millet or any millet. So, I am showing just an example. So in this first pass, it it has uh, given 90% accuracy and we will put it again to see uh, further that it will be done 100% accurately. So dehulling is done using this type of uh, impact huller SMF V3. So let's move further to our next slide that is prosomillets flow processing. So here we get the flow basically these are the steps prosomelid grains which we have obtained uh, then these are cleaned using a cleaner so after that soaking it is soaked at 25 degrees celsius for 24 hours basically soaking it is done to remove anti nutritional factors like polyphenols and phytates and also it makes the grinding easy then we have germination germination is done to change the amino acid composition it improves availability of vitamin and minerals then we have drying Drying is done at 60 degrees Celsius to remove the moisture content, then uh, basically the ex excess moisture content. Then after that we have roasting, roasting is done at 85 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Then we have milling, then uh, roasting basically increases the digestibility, so it decreases the hardness also. Then we have milling, milling is basically here we prefer the dry milling, it is a process to separate the endosperm from germ and perica fibers. Then we have sieving, here we sort it, grade it according to their size, then we obtain prosomelid flour. So this is an example of prosomelid flour. So let's go to next, that is prosomelid's uh, flaking process. Here we have the prosomelid grains, these are boiled, uh, we basically boil in water for uh, 20 minutes and uh, leave it overnight. So basically uh, boiling is basically done uh, for the uh, it's basically a main purpose uh, that is it softens the grains the only main purpose is then we adjust the ph to 8 to 8.5 then we wash these grains then we steam about for 20 minutes then we dry it for 20 percent moisture level it is done because to remove the excess moisture basically then we pass it through a flaking machine it can be any uh, flaking machine uh, then we obtain these flakes. So this is an example of prosomelid flakes. Let's move further to prosomelid fermentation. Now fermentation step is basically uh, follows these particular steps like we have the grains first, 
then we soak in water soaking again it is done for uh, 20 hours and its main function is to remove the anti nutrient factors like polyphenols and phytates further it makes the grinding easy so after that we have grinding we use many several grinders basically then we add water then we make a batter by mixing it then we have fermentation which is done for 5 hours for 29 degrees celsius then we have dehydration and uh, first thing i would like to tell you that fermentation basically it improves the nutritional value it improves the digestibility it reduces the cooking time also so these are the main benefits of fermentation after that we have dehydration uh, which is done at vacuum uh, oven that is 90 degrees celsius for at 700 mmhg that dehydration is basically done to extract the moisture it inhibits the growth of microorganisms then we have vacuum packaging in lp ldpe bags basically ldpe is used because it is flexible and has high ductility and low tensile strength after that we have storage at 5 degree celsius under refrigeration so then we obtain this fermented product that is a uh, prosomlet idli mix so let's move further to this slide that is reference i have collected all the information from these websites so you can refer to this for further clarification i hope you have learned something from this video please like and share this video and subscribe our channel thanks for watching